Welcome back to my channel. I'm Arkham, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I was able to pass $750,000 in futures prop funding, plus give you guys the exact blueprint step by step, the same blueprint that I give some of my students, so hopefully you guys can find similar results trading only ICT concepts and making your first 10K in payouts. If I could do it, anyone watching can do the same. Grab your notebooks and stay tuned till the end of this video as I give you the tools to profitability. Before we get into video, who am I? Well, I'm Arkham. Been trained for almost two years now. Most of my time have been trading and mastering ICT concepts to be the best I can. I've also been able to amass a massive following on Instagram and YouTube simply from my trading alone. No Lambos or fancy watches, just charts and proving that I'm one of the best at what I do. Since the start of the year, I've been able to not only receive max funding across futures prop firms like Topsep, but withdraw a lot of money, which you guys can find on my Instagram. So follow me there if you haven't already. And I've been able to do all of this in a short amount of time using only ICT concepts. And I'm going to break down the exact strategies that you can use today along with the right psychology so you can hopefully receive similar results. Candlestick anatomy theory is very simple. Just like inside of a human eye, there is multiple layers that create that one big organ. This is the human anatomy. And trading inside of one higher time frame candle is created from multiple lower time frame ranges. So in this depiction, we have one massive four hour candlestick and let's say we're anticipating higher prices. When this four hour candlestick opens up, we want to see the initial move drop down into a point of interest following a break higher above that opening price and even higher. So if I'm anticipating higher prices, I'd want to be looking for long at or below the opening price following that expansion to the upside. When this four hour candlestick opens up, we want to see that initial move being the manipulation being a drop lower into either a point of interest or liquidity pool. Following that, we want to see a break back higher back above the opening price and even higher for that distribution or expansion. So if I'm anticipating higher prices, I'd want to be long at or below the opening price following that expansionary phase to the upside. And this is how we can use the New York Power of Three with the candlestick anatomy theory. You see inside of a four hour candlestick, is a lower time frame power of three. Preferably, I like to use the 15 minutes time frame in alignment with the four hour time frame. So on the 15 minutes, I am identifying areas of liquidity or points of interest to which the market could most likely seek for the initial manipulation phase. Then after that manipulation phase, I want to anticipate an expansion away from our points of interest for that distribution. We have the accumulation here, then we see this drop to the downside for that manipulation phase and as we get this displacement followed by this market structure shift right here this is our indicator that price has found support at these lower levels and we could then potentially see that distribution phase to the upside so on the 15 minutes we're using the four hour essentially as a guide for a potential power of three what makes this even better is that price is establishing a low during the New York session. So we have to ensure price not only taps into a point of interest or liquidity pool, but we have to ensure that price has taken out both the London low and the ASA session lows. During the manipulation phase, if we can create the low during the New York session, that can create some of the biggest ranges that transfers not only throughout the New York session, but continues into the London close. The New York power of three can easily yield us anywhere from three to five R, on our trade idea, creating some massive ranges. So not only are you catching a very good setup based off of that power of three, but the specific New York power of three offers some of the biggest expansions throughout the trading day. So to recap our trading plan, we're anticipating the four hour candlestick to open up, drop lower into not only a point of interest, but establish the low of day during the New York session. Then on the 15 minute, take our trade idea, either below or at the opening price of the four hour candlestick following our manipulation phase then last but not least targeting opposing liquidity for at least a three to one r then vice versa for a bearish expansion anticipating the four hour manipulation higher price taps into either a bearish point of interest or buy side liquidity pool establishing the high during the new york session above the london session establishing the high during the new york session above both the london session and the asia session taking our trade above or at the opening price 
targeting opposing liquidity for at least a three to one R. So essentially a bullish candlestick anatomy theory plus New York power three and a bearish candlestick anatomy plus New York power of three. Both really, really good setups that you're going to find inside the marketplace on a week by week basis that's going to yield you consistency. Now that we have the strategy and the train plan out the way, the video isn't over yet. Stay tuned as we head over to our charts and put all of this together. And make sure to watch till the end because I'm about to drop some gems. Me and my brother Spectrades have come together and launched Spark Train University. Coming from humble beginnings, Train has changed our lives and we we're able to escape poverty and now live a life of abundance in only one year. If we could do it, everyone watching this video can do the same and it does not have to take long. And that's why we developed a framework that anyone can use inside of Spark Train University that gives them the same results that we got, if not even better, and you want to hold every student's hand inside of Spark Train University until they are profitable. Stop going about it alone and let me and my brother be your new mentors. And for this video, I'm opening up five slots for the next five people to join Spark Train University. You can just click the first link in the description to join Spark Train University and back to the video. So we're looking at the Nasdaq here during the New York session, and it's currently 10 a.m. If you guys don't know, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. is that four hour expansion during the New York session going on to the London close. So this is a very good time period to then look for the candlestick anatomy theory plus the New York power of three. And the first things that I want to take note of, obviously, is areas of liquidity and points of interest. So when it comes to liquidity, you always want to pay attention to the prior sessions liquidity. So right here, we have the Asia session liquidity, which we can see the marketplace taken out. Then obviously up here, we have the London session liquidity, which we've also taken out. So we're establishing that high during the New York session. So if we can see a reversal here inside the marketplace, then this could yield us a pretty big move to the downside. And I also want to take note of this last up close candle up here, essentially as a bearish order block. Whether you guys refer to this as supply and demand or an order block, it doesn't matter. This is still a bearish zone inside the marketplace where the market could potentially see a reversal from. Now what we want to identify is can we get a change in sale delivery, which is essentially displacement below this last up close candle to then change the course of action from higher prices to now lower prices, targeting back below these previous session lows and continuing even lower. So obviously in this example here, we can clearly see the marketplace reach up into that order block level, gave this change in state of delivery by this bearish engulfing candlestick, essentially breaking back below this last up close candle with a harsh body close. This is then our change in state of delivery from higher prices to now anticipating potentially lower prices. So if you can see the marketplace reach back up into this last up close candle, we can then take our high probability shorts reaching back below areas of liquidity. As well as we can take note of this ASA session liquidity. So I'm going to put my entry here inside of this last up close candle. Stop loss back above this long wick level here, targeting lower prices for that 3 to 1 hour target just below this ASA session liquidity. Let's see how this plays out. We then see this drop to the downside, giving us this bearish order block here as a potential scale in. I do usually scale into my positions here just so I can make more on my winning positions. So I'm going to scale in if price can reach back inside of this bearish order block, targeting just back below those ASA session lows, making this from a 3 to 1 R to a potentially 3.5 or 4 to 1 R, maximizing our profits. And just like that, we see this drop to the downside, reaching back down below into those price session lows, which is those ASA session lows for over a three to four R. Very, very solid. We're looking at our next example here on the S&P 500. Some key things I want to take note of is this previous daily high, as well as this London session high above us as a potential area of liquidity to then take out. And most importantly, I want to also take note of this ASA session low as a potential area of liquidity so maybe we could see the marketplace reach up higher take out this previous high then i want to see if we could get the right signatures to lean towards a potential reversal to then go lower reaching down below these ace session lows right this is how the market moves on a pretty consistent basis every single week so hopefully we can get those same signatures and repeat the same patterns so we can then capitalize on the marketplace
So we can see we had this push to the upside, taking out that London session high. And then we got this bearish engulfing candlestick breaking back below this last up close candle, right? This is a very good setup. This was the previous high that took out an area of liquidity, followed by this change instead of delivery, followed by this bearish engulfing candlestick with the body closing below this last up close candle body. So that is a change in state of delivery. This is a very high probability order block because this was the same last up close candle that took out a very prominent area of liquidity, which was a previous session area of liquidity. So this is a high quality setup to then anticipate a potential retracement into this order block level for a reversal move to the downside, reaching back below these ASA session lows, right? The market uses the ASA session highs and lows as a magnet. So if we could see a reversal at this level, then the ASA session lows are a very, very easy target level that the marketplace wants to then take out. So I'm going to put my entry here inside of this bearish order block level, stop loss just above this long wick, targeting back below those ASA session lows for about a 3 to 1 R. And let's see how this trade idea pans out. Then we see that massive drop to the downside, just like so, down below those ASA session lows. And it looks like it could continue even lower down into this imbalance just like that perfect and as we can see on the four hour candlestick here we had that opening price at around 10 a.m we saw this push to the upside inside of that 15 minute bearish order block and then we saw that distribution to the downside for that candlestick anatomy theory beautiful so we're looking at our next example here on the dow jones we can clearly identify these previous steady highs as an area of liquidity as well as we do have these ASA session lows, like we talk about as another area of liquidity inside the marketplace. So for the most part here, it does look like we've just taken out those highs. We saw this rejection, rejection. We could potentially see a movement to the downside here. If we can get some type of retracement, this would then be solid for that move down into those ASA session lows. So we can see here that the marketplace opened up here at around 9.30 and just saw a push to the downside, reaching down into those ASA session lows, creating the low of day. Even though this did go into our plan, like we said it would, it didn't really offer us much of a setup. Let's see if we could break back above this level to potentially get a retracement inside of this inversion imbalance here, which is in the form of the inversion fair value gap, to then target back above higher prices here for a potential New York power of three, establishing the low during this New York session. So we can see here, we had that break to the upside, breaking back above this imbalance, leaving this last down close candle as a bullish order block. And just above that last down close candle, we do have what looks like a inefficiency here in the form of this volume imbalance, right? The separation of wicks, there's no bodies in between this level. So this is a volume imbalance here, which also has this bullish order block just below it. So we have multiple points of support at this specific level. We clearly see that the marketplace is breaking higher and we have this area's liquidity as an easy targeting. So I'm gonna put my entry here inside of this order block, stop loss back below this order block level because I trust price to find support at this volume bounce plus order block level and not necessarily want to break below it targeting back higher prices for a three to one r perfect let's see how this then plays out and we see that continuous run to the upside just like i talked about from the last example these asa session highs and lows are like magnets inside the marketplace the market came lower into that asa session low perfectly took it out before then seeing this reversal higher after establishing the low of day during the New York session. This is why I believe the candlestick anatomy theory plus the New York power of three is one of the best strategies that you can use. And obviously sticking to one to two trades a day and focusing on the long term, not necessarily the short term, is the easiest way for you to pass your first funded account and get your first payout and start to attach yourself to the process and following your train plan and following your rules and not caring if it takes you a week, three weeks, maybe a month or two months to pass a funded account 
but focusing on getting better on a day-by-day -day basis. So that's going to be it. I hope this video was very insightful. Make sure you guys hit that like, subscribe, and comment what you guys want to see next. And if you guys want to join Spark Trade University, that's me and my brother Spectrade's private mentorship. That's going to be a first link in the description. I'm Markham. Be safe.